Hi! Merry Christmas everybody! Welcome to December 25th, 2020. And that's right, it's Christmas. And this is the Christmas Day edition of a day of my daily Devo videos. Daily video Daily Devo video number 214. The Christmas Day episode. And today is part number three of a Peaceful Christmas Time trilogy that I've been doing the last couple of days. Today is part number three, and we're going to be talking about God gave himself. And we're going to begin with the most famous, one of the most favorite Bible ver verses of all time. And if you don't know the meaning of this verse, then you're not Christian. And you're not a Christian. But us Christians, we know this by heart. All we got to do is hear the number and we can recite it by heart. John 3.16 For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Amen? And that's what it that's what it reads. <laughs> I didn't even have to look at the book to to read it. I knew the verse by heart. And I, I hope you do too. So it is singularly appropriate that we look at this greatest of all the verses on this Christmas day. For it records the greatest of all gifts. The gift of himself. Basically, the theme of giving is very prominent in the Bible with such words as give, gift, gave, etc. occurring more than 2,100 times. Ooh, that's a lot of time with that, those words. But I hope, before I get any further, I hope you got a, spe a special gift this morning. And I know this video is coming out a little later, but I'll let it, let it come up a little later to... Hope everyone has their, their good time with their families and get that special gift that they've been wanting or or needing something comes up that they weren't even expecting. That one surprise gift. Now, me and my family are not going to have Christmas today. We're going to do it tomorrow because the way our uh, payday run. So we're gonna go tomorrow and pick up pick up a few items for each other, and then come back home and just hand them over. There's not gonna be no gift wrapped on it. You're just gonna hand them over. So whatever we do, whatever we do will be fine. Just sometimes we have to do that with pay schedules and stuff like that. We don't have the money to do it beforehand before Christmas to get it set up. So we have to wait till the day after Christmas, and some of that stuff can be marked down. So it'll save us a little money to get it, to get that one one thing we wanted to get the other person. So, so I hope everyone ha is having a wonderful day, spending time with those you love. I know I will be, and I appreciate the. The gift the other day from the my home church, they sent us a gift card to go buy us a turkey or ham or whatever we want to, whatever we want to buy for, and probably all the fixings to go with it. Probably, if we can get one, it's pretty. I mean, if we have to use other money for the rest of the stuff, we'll we'll find we'll we'll have we'll have that extra. So. But I've never heard of a card being used just for the for the meat or the pro or fresh produce. I've never heard it just put plainly like that. The gift card you can use it for whatever you want, whatever kind of food you want to get. So you ain't got to put this specifically thing for that, but that's just the way the card says. 
It's going to be like any other gift card. You can use it for whatever you want to use it for. But I appreciate the church doing that. Give us a little, give us a little bit. Little to help for our dinner today. So we're, pro we're probably gonna, as a recording in this video, it is Tuesday, Tuesday morning. We'll probably go down and eat. I guess we'll probably do tomorrow and get the get the stuff for the dinner. So we went out for Thanksgiving because we didn't have we didn't have the money to get to get all the fixings. Not a lot of people can just stand up and do that much cooking. Now for Christmas it'd be be a little different. Got a pretty little bird over there. Sorry about that. <laughs> the bird's a little distracting me. Okay, it says Let me go back and so twenty one hundred times, that's what we left off. So it says the first is Genesis one, sixteen and seventeen. When God creates the sun moon and stars to give light upon the earth and the last is revelation 22 12 when christ will return with his words to give every man according to his work give every man according as his work shall be I read my words together sorry and in acts 14 17 and in 17 25 it says he gave us rain from heaven and fruitful seasons as well as life and breath and all things he gave us rain comes from from 1417 and life and breath and all things comes from 1725 that was the way, the way it ran and they split it up but the greatest gift clearly was when God gave himself for a lost and undeserving world. It was the greatest gift because it met the greatest need, revealed the greatest love, and had the greatest scope and purpose of any gift that could ever be conceived in the heart of an omniscient creator. Amen. And that was not the end of his giving, of course. Romans 8.32 He that spared not his own son, but delivered him up for us all, how shall not how shall he not with him also freely give us all things? First Timothy 6.17 says, Trust in the living God, which giveth us richly all things to enjoy. And those are some of the verses where the word give, gift, gave. <clears throat> Sorry about that. Sitting in the wrong spot on this. One thing I'm sitting on I just had to readjust my sitting spot but this great gift of God is abundantly sufficient to provide salvation and everlasting life for the whole world but a gift only becomes a gift when it is accepted and the greatest of all tragedies is that this great and the greatest of all tragedies is that this greatest of all gifts has been spurned and even ridiculed or worst of all simply ignored by multitudes who need it so much and when they brazenly refuse God's free gift of everlasting life they can only perish in everlasting death so if that's you if you're listening to this or if you're watching this and if that's you Now's the time to do it before it's too late. And lastly, God did all he could. God did all he could do when he gave his son. For when he gave his son, he gave himself. Because you all know, Jesus is God incarnate. Jesus was God in man in man's own image or whatever. See God brought G sent his likeness 
to this earth to be God in flesh. He wanted him to be God of the of, sorry, but he wanted him to be the God of the earth, basically. You had God of the in heaven, but then he had to have somebody, so he made made somebody like him, and that was Jesus. And then when he gave when he gave his son, he gave himself. Amen. So that is it for the Chris, a peaceful Christmas time trilogy, part number three. And if you haven't watched part number one or part number two, go back and watch those two. And hopefully these videos will be posted later this afternoon from the recording of this video. So if you're seeing it on the days that they're supposed to be posted then I, I did get them get them posted but if it comes up saying the Wednesday video did not get posted on Wednesday then something went wrong and I couldn't couldn't go nowhere but hopefully I'll get to be able to go this afternoon and get up get it done Maybe I can, because all I would need is maybe about an hour, hour or so, sitting there, get get them, get them posted, to get everything straight on my system, because I have a couple of things I have to do, which I have to have web to do it with, so maybe I can get it all straightened, or if the stuff on the computer I need to get done can wait until we get the Wi-Fi back on. Just these uploading things I need the web. I need to go ahead and get them up. And then the Saturday and Sunday videos will tomorrow's tomorrow's and Saturday should be recorded on Friday. Or should be recorded tonight. The day of this, of this video. The, not recording of this video, but the the day, the day for the video. So sometime tonight I should be getting to it to get the Saturday and Sunday videos done. Hopefully we got our cable on. We got our Wi-Fi back on yesterday. I'm ra I'm rambling. I hate when I ramble like this. But in tomorrow's video, for video number 215, we're going to be talking about the Trinity in Ephesians. And we're going to be in Ephesians 4, 4 through 6, to start it off. And then Sunday, we are going to have the next video of the Word video series. I think it's, what, 17? 13, yeah, I believe this is going to be number 17 on Sunday. I'll be the next word video and we're going to be talking about judgment from the word and we're going to be in the next stanza starting at Psalm 119 verse 121 and the whole so it's 121 to 128 is the next stanza of Psalm 119 so that's the next two videos for this weekend so hopefully the day of this hopefully by the time this video is up Later this, this evening, I'll get to get to those two, get them posted. If I have my Wi-Fi back on, but I'll get them back on till Saturday, and then I'll have to do a hurry up recording, get it get it edited, and then post it immediately as soon as I get done with the Saturday video, and then the Sunday video I can get set to go to go up on Sunday. So stay tuned for those videos this weekend and I hope you're having a wonderful Christmas day wherever you may be. Merry Christmas to all my family and friends watching out there on Facebook. If you're seeing this from Facebook, Merry Christmas and Happy New Year everybody. Hope you're having a good time with your families and 
I'll see you tomorrow. Hopefully. Hopefully I'll be able to get everything done for this weekend. And. And that's that. But I love you. And I appreciate you. Merry Christmas everybody. And I'll see you tomorrow. Hopefully. Peace out. Merry Christmas everybody.